Uh, we're standing today on one of our regional roads where we've recently installed a wildlife crossing. This area is actually surrounded by, by wetlands on all sides, so it's a perfect habitat for, for many species. Turtles in particular, they are actually a keystone species and they're an extremely important part of an ecosystem. Snapping turtles in particular eat a lot of um, deceased animals and deceased fish that are in rivers and lakes and other water systems. So they're keeping the um, bad bacteria out of those waterways and cleaning up the water. Local residents, uh, they were actually the first ones to approach uh, the region uh, and ask, uh, ask for ways of, of helping these animals uh, safely navigate this area. What we have here is a tunnel entrance uh, going across the regional road. On either side we've got uh, well over 100 meters of fence uh, installed to channelize the wildlife to this location. Uh, they'll enter the tunnel here. You can see up on the road there that the, the tunnel does have perforations all the way through so it lets light okay. uh, through the tunnel. So it looks appealing to the uh, wildlife uh, as they cross through to the other side of the road. And we do have turtles and amphibians moving through those corridors as we want. So road mortality in that section has definitely decreased. So that in itself is a success. Um, of course, we just need to build on that. We're, we're continuing to monitor to see what's working and what's not and looking at best ways to, to improve that going forward. Our hope is that by the time these hatchlings reach sexual maturity, we will have made the changes necessary to make the habitat a safe place for them to come out, cross the road through our eco passages, perhaps have some nesting beaches so that they avoid nesting in road shoulders and have a better chance of survival and um, replacing themselves in the population.